So CBR posted an article saying that, well, more like asking, could season two of Rise of the Shield Hero redeem it? And I'm just going to be up front. I hate CBR. I love Rise of the Shield Hero. I think it's an awesome manga. And it's probably one of my favorite mangas. It's either that or D. Gray Man. But to also put my opinion on this short, the media has learned nothing from their attacks on Rising of the Shield Hero. Like, there are two things I believe in. One is karma. Two is the Streisand effect. And I already knew about Shield Hero when it was happening. But I'm pretty sure the media attacking it only made it better, and their continued attacks on it makes me love it more. And it only shows that they have learned nothing. But then again, folks, the media is kind of like a Nephilim. It's giant, annoying, never shuts up, and every time it opens its mouth, the barrel of a pistol starts to look a little too friendly. And you're thinking to yourself, when is God going to strike this thing down finally? Or drown it with a flood? But it just keeps on. And CBR is the epitome of this, in my opinion. There are a lot of sites that attack Shield Hero when it first came out. I remember... In one of my college classes, I actually did an example of why, well, just a speech on why you shouldn't believe everything journalists say. I was surprised the teacher allowed it, actually. I, I expected her to say, hell no, or hell no. But she let me. I kind of rambled on, but yeah, Shield Hero was one of my favorite examples. And yeah, it was just stupid. It was stupid then, it's stupid now. If you don't like the manga or anime, don't watch it or read it. But what these journalists do that kind of sickens me is people worked on this and they need to make money. So what they're doing is effectively trying to influence how much money these people make just because they don't like it or it t- touches on a subject they don't like. Just because it makes them their side look bad. And by that I mean, the Rise of the Shield Hero for you, those of you who haven't read it or seen the anime... It touched on the subject of false rape accusations. Now, regardless of how you feel on that subject, whether you think all women should be believed or should or shouldn't all believed, that is irrelevant. It touches on the idea of it, which do happen. It's a sm- it's a small case, though, from what I understand. Like compare it to instances where a woman was actually raped. Yeah, the numbers are definitely in favor of the women who have been raped versus those who have lied about it. Though it probably, although I also do think it happens more than people like to think, but that's beside the point. Regardless of how you feel on the subject, it's a plot point within the story. It was supposed to tear Naofumi, the shield hero, down and make him like an anti hero, cynical, and just not her- a heroic person, which I loved about him. I really did. I still do, technically. He gives zero shits sometimes, which I find entertaining. And the problem with these journalists is they also tried to equate it to, well, they brought the Vic Mignogna case, which was a bullshit case if I ever heard one. Everything I've seen of that guy is he's the nicest guy around, but, eh. And to me, this just shows that they still want to just tear it down. I remember one of the reviews for it was burn and insult the earth. So it shows how malicious these bad actors are. They don't really care about anime. They just want to inject their own politics into it. But that was back then. Now it's just, they seem to just be bittersweet. They're butthurt that they failed to tear it down. Probably just like they're sad and mad that they didn't tear Goblin Slayer down. And all I can say is, please keep it up. Please keep on attacking Rise of the Shield here. I want it to do better. I want it to do better than I thought possible. And what these dipshits are doing is probably going to help. It makes me love it more, and it makes me want to see more of it. And it makes me just wish the manga would pick up the pace a little and keep going forward more and catch up with the light novels. And what annoys me the most about this article is how counterproductive it is. It doesn't make me not want to see it. It starts off just bringing up the fact that there was a false rape allegation in the story and then just does nothing. That's probably the most annoying part. It just, it seemed more spiteful and self-righteous to me. and just seemed like it was trying to give this anime a bad rap because season two is coming up soon. 
Puchak can only say CBR. Thank you for once again proving what inept schlubs you are. No, not schlubs, schmucks. And yeah, please keep it up. Please continue to be so inept and stupid because I want the Shield Hero to do better and your ineptitude is only going to ensure that. So yeah. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours uh, and have a nice day. And remember, the game was rigged from the start.